Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today we're unboxing the middle of Yamaha's home theatre amplifier range, the RXA 1060. This extremely well appointed two zone home theatre amplifier is, is one of my favourites. Um, superb value, really well positioned, really well featured and very good implementation of those features. So um, yeah, very well, sells wonderfully in our stores, um, great reliable product and uh, very useful feature under. Okay, so the 1060. This is a big home theatre amplifier, physically large from a box perspective and um, no point for guessing that these are packing bands enabling us all to sort of lump them around the place. Uh, this is heavy, you know, you only typically see these packing bands on the larger models of Yamaha. Um, the packaging, as you sort of saw briefly, is full of a lot of these licensing agreements and other things along those lines, as well as some basic information about Spotify and Pandora support and Napster and things like that. Uh, this model is part of Yamaha's uh, MusicCast ecosystem um, and is a full zone too, the ability to distribute both HDMI and sound off to a second area. Okay. The, um, the packaging is pretty muted. It's a big box, yes, but uh, very simple on all sides with model information on all of the corners and tops, sides and tops. On one end it's got the model and serial number for scanning and other things along those lines. Opening these, very, very straightforward. Get rid of these packing tapes, packing bags. And it's as simple as now opening the amplifier's uh, factory tape. Okay. All of the accessories of these models are in the top of the box. So you can see it all there. The first thing that we see is um, basic colour brochure about MusiCast, the app and other things like that, as well as advertising some of the um, accessories uh, WXO10 speakers, etc. There's a basic accessory pack with uh, information, warranty card, and a user manual on a CD ROM. There's an IEC power cord, FM aerial, AM aerial loop, Y power setup microphone in little bubble wrap, and the home theater amplifier for remote control. Pausing here for a sort of a moment, um, with most things being operated via an app or some other control system, Yamaha has opted to have perhaps a, a less well-appointed uh, remote control, um, but still operates all of the main functions and has a switch on it to control the IR settings for both Zone 1 and Zone 2 independently. So, nice well-appointed remote. Uh, before we discard the polystyrene, we've got a, triple, uh, a set of AAA batteries in there, and the top polystyrene very easy to get rid of. Drilling down the box, this is a heavy amplifier. Um, they're all protected by this sort of bubble paper product and a single piece of sellotape is easily nicked to remove and start having a look at this amp. Being on the heavier side you'll see I'm being a little bit more careful dragging this packaging away. Um, and there we have a look at the front of this home theatre amplifier for the first time. Uh, the 1060 is the first with the oil dampened front panel, so it's protected with a little bit of that um, tape to stop it from opening in transit. The, the front panel opens like that and excellent, reveals some of the less used buttons and features. Okay, so looking at the front of this product for the first time, we've got the main power. Uh, input selection on the same side and opposite the main volume control which has got a good feel to it and the amplifier's pure direct button. This pure direct shuts down uh, all of the extraneous and perhaps underutilized uh, inputs and other things like that allowing the amplifier to sound a little bit cleaner and more musical. If I open this front panel again you'll see the less used features in an, in an array. On screen display and other buttons relating to the setup without its remote control You've got um, tone and balance settings, uh, straight and effect off. Program settings changing the DSP field of the Yamaha Theater Amplifier. You've got um, the four uh, memory presets or scenes associated with the amplifier. 
Below that you've got zone 2 control and zone 2 on and off. Over towards the, beside that we've got the AM FM radio tuner controls. Below that a front HDMI input. Analog inputs are also supported, allowing things like video cameras, Wii consoles, all sorts of things to be plugged in very easily. This has a large six and a quarter inch headphone socket and a front Y power mic setup input. Now the microphone input isn't for the use of microphones for karaoke or sing-alongs or something like that. It's quite specific to the Y power setup or mic setup. And uh, when you plug in a microphone, it will uh, the on-screen display will ask for some prompting basically as it takes it to that setup feature. Uh, there is a front USB 5 volt 1 amp, so it will support uh, playback and charging of iPads and iPods as well as Android devices. If I rock this unit forward for a minute so that you can kind of see and uh, perhaps inside, and I will take some photographs to help explain. There's a Yamaha specific power supply on board, as well as a sneaker of some of the specific boards and other interconnections that you can see through the top. It's well ventilated and it kind of needs to be, I mean this has got a lot of power on board. Spinning it round you'll see that this starts to get deeper than perhaps a, a standard home theatre amplifier and as we look for the first time at the rear you'll see just how well appointed this product is. Tip it up to have a wee look. You see this now has seven rear HDMI inputs. So along with the one at the front, it's appointed with eight twin HDMI outputs. Um, these, are the second one being zone specific, so you can uh, distribute the HDMI out to a second television and watch something else if required. It's got a network socket and uh, aerial for Wi-Fi. Uh, this uh, doubles up as its uh, Bluetooth Wi-Fi, if I understand correctly as well. Looking through the next section in the amplifier, we've got RS-232 control, remote in and out, 12 volt triggers and other sort of control aspects for home automation or just triggering blinds, curtains, projector lifts, electric screens or even just monitoring its state over a um, control solution of some kind. There's component video inputs and outputs which are assignable to any input. There's zone pre-outs and subwoofer outputs as well. Um, so there's eight channel outputs for processing and uh, better sort of better uh, implementation of external power amplifiers or something along those lines. There's composite video switching for basic inputs um, as well as a myriad of analog and inputs and outputs for the use of things like turntables, CD players, maybe an old VCR floating around. It does have a dedicated phono stage and with that a dedicated ground. Underneath that we've got the digital um, audio inputs, both optical and coax, as well as output. Um, and of course, AM FM radio. This amplifier is a nine channel amplifier, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sets of binding posts on the rear, uh, and it's beautifully well appointed as far as its overall amplification. Okay, so as we spin this around, there we have it Yamaha's. Um, RXA 1060 home theatre amplifier unboxed here at the listening post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. <laughs>